ABC's General Hospital Sports revealed that Jagger definitely didn't want Jason to turn himself in because then Jagger would naturally be implicated. Jagger intimidated Jason and forced Jason to work according to his orders. And for the past three years, Jason's been under Jagger's control until everyone learned of his existence. Jason has run away and Jagger's desperately searching for him. It's clear that Jagger took on the case for his own purposes. In addition to bringing Jason back to the take the blame, perhaps Jagger's trying to cover up the clues because Jas- Jason will most likely reveal that Jagger was the one who ordered him around. If Jason chooses to turn himself in, Jagger's outcome will be truly tragic. Jason's been exploited by Jagger for years, but at the same time, he's also a threat to Jagger. Jason certainly has evidence in his hands that could make Jagger miserable. Meanwhile, Brooke will tell Tracy some shocking news, which is that she will be looking for a job at Deception. After Tracy acquired the largest share, she wanted to hand over leadership to Brooke. Tracy believes Brooke can do this task well, but Brooke didn't want to follow Tracy's arrangement. Before that, she was the one who betrayed her colleagues, so she felt guilty continuing to work here. Tracy looked disappointed. Everything she did before was all because she wanted to create a solid position for Brooke. Yet Brooke doesn't want to follow Tracy's directions. Brooke wants everything to go her way. Tracy was a little disappointed, but she understood that Brooke's dream had always been music. Not working at the company, even though Tracy is Brooke's grandmother, she has no right to force Brooke to do anything. Elsewhere, Liz feels tired when she can't find Jason. Jason's still alive and Liz has a bunch of questions about his existence. Liz really wants to be able to meet Jason, but now even the police can't find where Jason is. Liz confided in Willow about his without, even noticing that Willow's attitude is very different. Willow and Michael are the ones hiding Jason. Willow feels guilty about not being able to tell Liz, and Willow knew Liz couldn't wait to meet Jason. But if Willow told her, things would definitely be complicated, while Willow's still hesitating. But Willow and Liz receive extremely shocking news, which is that Jason has gone to the police station to confess. Liz no longer needed to search for Jason, and Willow's confused as to why Jason wasted her effort, and Michael then confessed.